So in the GDXR VR template, there's two snap rotation or two rotation types that you can have access to. So if you go to data character, so data asset character variables in our blueprints data folder, we can open this up and we'll see that we have a use snap turn Boolean value. So if this is true, when we press play, we'll be able to jump in and it will use our left controller or it will use our controller that is appropriate for our movement method. And you can see that we can snap rotate and it does exactly what we want it to do. Whereas if we press escape and we go and disable this, hit save and then we press play, we'll actually be able to press the thumbstick and we'll smoothly rotate based on our thumbstick input. So both of these have their own variables that you can use. So snap turn, once it's true, uses the snap turn angle value. This will control how far your rotation moves. And if you disable it and it uses smooth rotation, it'll use smooth turn speed. And this is a multiplier. So by default, it's set up one. Whereas if you're doing something you need to move much faster, you can set this to um, another value, let's say five. So if we do that, set it to five. Actually, we'll do something drastic. So we'll set multiply by 10. And then we jump in. When we actually rotate, our camera's going to spin around like a madman. So that's pretty much it for snap rotation. Um, that's where all the settings are stored. By default, snap turn is on because it can cause motion sickness. And if you want to change some of the blueprints or you want to check out the blueprints, you can go to blueprints and then VR character. And you're looking for the event graph. And you can see here we've got a custom setup with some functions to control our smooth uh, snap rotation or snap turn uh, for left and right handed. So it's the same thing, but it just changes the input based on what controller and movement input type you're using. So for snap rotation, that's pretty much how to set it all up and where to get started.